Okay, today we're going to be looking a little bit more at the MIDI shield for the Arduino. I got my uh, shield at SparkFun Electronics at sparkfun.com. Uh, uh, it comes with two knobs, three buttons, and a MIDI in and MIDI out plug. What it does not come with, which I wish I realized when I first ordered it, is it does not come with the pin rails to connect it to your Arduino board. So order those separately so you can connect it to your Arduino when you get it. Um, once you assemble it, as I did in a previous video, um, you can come back to this site and you can download the example Arduino sketch and you can open that up and that this is the code right here and we're going to very quickly go over it I'm not going to touch on everything on it but basically at the top here we're uh, defining some things our knobs and our buttons and some commands that we're going to use on off and wait which we'll get into later on uh, then we're also going to set up some things as our incoming bytes uh, which are going to be converted into pot, which is going to be converted into notes. I'm not sure what pot stands for, but basically we're going to do a little mathematical equation later on in this code to convert it to a number between 0 and 127, which is uh, basically notes on a MIDI keyboard. Uh, and velocity, uh, if you're not familiar with what velocity is, it's basically how hard a key is being hit on a MIDI keyboard. But to simplify it, think of it as volume. The higher the number, the louder it is. And then we got some bytes that we'll get into later on in functions. Our void setup basically initiates all those things we just set up up there. And then it will flash some LEDs on the board to let you know we're started up. The important part here is the serial begin and the baud rate. Now, um, basically, when you hook up the MIDI board, it's going to be using the uh, serial communications on the Arduino board to send signals through your MIDI uh, controller device on your computer or synthesizer. What's important to remember here is that you can't program your Arduino board while the shield is connected. This is kind of a pain in the butt, especially when you're first learning and you're experimenting with it. You have to keep on pulling the, the board, the shield off the board uh, every time you want to program it. And doing that over and over again, even if you're careful, you're going to occasionally bend some pins and you got to get the needle nose pliers out to bend them back. So just be careful with that. And remember, you can't program your Arduino when the shield is connected. Here we're going to start our void loop. And I'm going to try to explain this uh, very simply, although there's a lot going on. Um, basically, this first part is grabbing information from our MIDI out, which... Uh, or not grabbing information, grabbing information for our MIDI out and sending it to the MIDI out. Uh, basically, it's going to read our analog in and set pot equal to that. And then we're going to divide pot by 8, which will give us a value between 0 and 127. And once again, that's keys on the keyboard. Lower the number, the lower the, the pitch. Higher the number, higher the pitch or, or key or note. Um, then we got three buttons on the shield. And we're saying here, if any of those three buttons are hit, we are going to run our send uh, function here, our MIDI send, which is defined down here with our uh, MIDI send. And we got three variables going into that. CMD, which I believe stands for command, data one, and data two. The command is basically, I think, going to tell it what kind of signal it is. And mainly, we're going to be working uh, with two different signals, or mainly one, uh, which is right here, zero, X90, which I believe is just telling it that it's a keyboard press because uh, MIDI keyboards and controllers can have uh, sliders and buttons as well as keys. This, I believe, is just saying that this is a key press. Uh, so basically, we're going to be playing a note. Data 1 is the note, and data 2 is the velocity. So looking back up here, we are going to be... Whoops. Where am I? MIDI out right here. We're going to be sending a signal to our computer or synthesizer saying that it's a key press, it's a note, and we got note here, and we'll explain that more down there below how we got that. And we're sending it at a velocity of 0x45, which is a medium volume there. And um, so let's look at this next part. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, I believe that has to do with the MIDI in on the shield, which is if we want information coming into our board, which we're not getting into into this tutorial. So just ignore that for now. Uh, our MIDI in, as far as what we're getting from our Arduino board in this case, although it could also be coming from this section here. Anyway, let's not get into that. Um, we're grabbing incoming bytes from our serial, and we're going to read them. Now, 
depending on what information we get there, if it's 144, which means the node is on, we're gonna set action off. If it's 128, the node is off, we're gonna set action on. And the reason for that is that comes down to uh, this information here, whether we're gonna be grabbing the node or velocity. So basically when you press a button, one of the buttons, one, two, or three, it's gonna be looping through this fast and one time it's gonna grab what the node is. So if note does not equal zero and action is not wait, uh, then we're gonna be grabbing the velocity uh, and if it's the other way around, we're gonna be grabbing the note. So basically it's grabbing those things separately, but it's gonna seem like it's grabbing them at the same time because of how fast the Arduino clock goes. And then uh, once it grabs those information, it's gonna send the, the MIDI signal. We've got note velocity and action, and basically right here after the loop, we're going to be setting those back to the defaults of zero, zero, and wait, um, so that it can grab the next note. And that's pretty much all the code we're gonna be worrying about today. So let's hook it up and see what goes. We'll, you can uh, re uh, the compile it, thank you, uh, by clicking the run button. And then we can upload it. Remember not to have the shield connected while you're uploading. Uh, so once it's done uploading, we can connect our shield here. And we'll go over to here, and here you can see that I've got um, ZYN add sub effect running, Jack D running, Jack control running, and this is going to be uh, allowing us to play some notes from the board to the computer, and we'll hear it through ZYN add sub effect in this case. Now you'll notice that over, oops, I hit a button on it while putting the board together. Panic that, okay. Uh, if we look at our MIDI controllers here, you'll see that I have a ViewCon, and that's that's what my Arduino is going through. That's the MIDI hardware I'm using. It's a US, MIDI to USB adapter. If you have a MIDI device in your computer, it will show up as that. It's just whatever you plug the Arduino in, it's not going to come up as Arduino. So we have that connected to ZYN and add some effect. And now, if I press one of the buttons on the on the uh, Arduino board, you can hear it. And I can press another one, another one. And you notice it never releases the key, and I'll get into that in a future tutorial because I'm running low on time now. Um, but I can kill it by hitting panic here. And basically, the way the code goes is knob one decides the pitch. So if I... You can hear the... I'm pressing the same button, but I'm turning the first knob, and it's changing the pitch of the uh, note or the key that's being played. Um, so that's a quick look at the code. I, I hope that I explained it well because I kind of went through it fast and there's a lot going on there, but I'll have more tutorials coming up soon where I'm gonna break this down a little bit better. So thank you for watching and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.